All right, uh, let's look at the linearly independent functions. Here's the definition. Uh, two function f and g are linearly dependent if uh, f is a constant multiple of g. All right? Otherwise, they're called uh, linearly independent. All right? uh, there's a, a good tool we can use to determine if two functions are linearly independent. It's called the um, uh, Ronskins. All right? So here's the definition. Right, Ronskin is determined uh, defined as uh, absolute, uh, not absolute value, uh, determinant of uh, f g f prime g prime. Right, so it's going to be you just multiply f and g prime minus g and f prime. All right. So if uh, this is equal to zero, then it indicates that two, two functions are linearly dependent. If it's not equal to zero, maybe I should uh, write it this way. All right, uh, so it's going to be, if it's um, equal to zero, then it's a linearly dependent, it's not equal to zero, then it is uh, linearly independent. All right, so let's look at a small, uh, simple example. Let's say you have a f of x equals cosine of x and g of x is sine of x. All right, let's find the um, uh, Ronskin of those two functions. All right, so Ronskin of f and g. All right. So I'm going to put um, right, f, which is cosine of x. g of x is sine of x. Right, if you take the derivative of that, you get the negative sine of x. Derivative of sine is cosine of x. Right, so if you multiply cosine and cosine, you get the cosine squared of x minus sine times negative, sine is negative, so it's double negative, so applying sine to uh, x, right? Uh, by using the trig identity, this is actually equal to one, right? Of course, one is not equal to one, so therefore, f and g are linearly, so since it's not, it's not equal to zero, linearly independent. Right. Uh, there's a theory about the linear independence uh, uh, about the solutions of different equations. So let's uh, state that. Right. It says this: Ronskin's of solutions. Right. If y1 and y2 are solutions of this uh, homogeneous second-order linear equation, uh, where you know p and q are continuous on open interval i, there are only two possibilities. And the first says, if the y1 and y2 are linearly dependent, then the Ronskin of these two solutions will be equal to zero on, on the interval i, right? And the second possibility is that the y1 and y2 are linearly independent, then the Ronskin of these two solutions is never zero on that interval i, right? So uh, just like uh, you know um, the Ronskins we computed, we can do the Ronskins of the two solutions to see if those two solutions are linearly independent or linearly independent. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.